I think we shouldn't lose track. I think even in the civility of the fact that J.D. Vance came to this debate to land a bunch of punches, and he did. He landed a lot of punches in between all the niceties and all, and all of that. And, and the thing that, that really stood out to me was that Tim Walz did not seem prepared for it. He didn't respond to a lot of the criticisms and attacks that Vance put on the table. Uh, he allowed some clear falsehoods mm -hmm. to just go completely unanswered. Um, he allowed J.D. Vance essentially to dodge on a whole host of issues, on climate change, um, on, on the issue of his flip-flopping on Donald Trump. He, uh, he allowed Vance initially to claim that Trump salvaged the Affordable Care Act. It took him several sentences to get to the part of his answer, Walsh's answer, yeah, Abby, listen, where, I, I, where, he, where he actually responded to that. I mean, I think there was a clear lack of preparation and execution here I on think Walsh's he, part. I think actually it's the opposite. I think he had too much preparation. Maybe, yeah. He had so many lines that he was clearly trying to say yeah. that he didn't listen and said when, when uh, J.D. Vance said one of the many, many things he um, really <laughs> hit Kamala Harris on, not Tim Walls, but Kamala Harris, he didn't respond because he clearly had things in his mind. I think the lack of interviews that he has done with national media, with local media, it showed. He needed more reps.